is we have focused our attention on the drug tamoxifen. That's a bit paradoxical because tamoxifen has no effect on basally breast cancers. But tamoxifen has two activities. It's a very interesting drug. It has an activity on receptors called estrogen receptors. And the way in which it works for the most widely treated type of breast cancer is that it blocks the estrogen receptor. For breast cancers that don't have estrogen receptors, this is irrelevant. But even for those that do, the low doses of tamoxifen that block that receptor do not actually kill the cancer cells. In order to kill them, you get, need to get to higher levels, which work through a different mechanism. Those higher levels have been of great interest in cancer research. There are over a dozen clinical trials on using high-dose tamoxifen for all kinds of different cancers, although surprisingly not for basal-like breast cancer. So tamoxifen has these secondary properties that look extremely interesting to us. One of the big problems that we have in cancer research is that we know that cancers have a subset of cells that we call cancer stem cells that are resistant to therapy. If you don't get rid of them, you may get rid of a lot of the tumor, but it just regrows. So you've got to attack the cancer stem cells. Well, it turns out that by making Sybil active again, we now target the cancer stem cells also. So we have a single therapy now that enables us to make the bulk tumor responsive to tamoxifen and target the cancer stem cells in that category of breast cancer that has been most difficult to treat. In this program, we always are faced with the recognition that these are urgent problems. People are dying. And the 10-year process of drug discovery has to be hastened. One of the ways in which you hasten drug discovery is you take all the drugs that have already been approved for other purposes, and you ask whether any of them have properties that no one has realized before. Everyone who does this finds successes because all drugs are dirty. So all drugs have multiple properties just like tamoxifen has multiple properties. So can we harness these other properties? And Warner and Brett have done that, and we have a couple of interesting candidates, and we're evaluating them now.